All right, what's up, Tycoon? Super excited for today's video. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at American Airlines, okay? Ticker symbol AAL. Uh, man, it just raged yesterday, okay? Had a very, very big pop. And uh, we're looking at the weekly chart right now, and we're looking at the big picture grand scheme of everything right now, okay? Um, so here's our COVID lows, okay? These are our COVID-19 lows um, back here, you know, in between like $8 and uh, $10 right here. All right. Um, so those are our two bearish price targets. Now we did come down and we tested this really strong um, support level here around 14.3. And this was going to be basically my make or break level, right? Like <clears throat> below here, essentially, we're going to head down to these uh, bearish price targets, but we didn't open or close um, any of the candles below this level, right? We just wicked down there a little bit, but we recovered nicely. Um, and then, um, you know, above here, above this level here, right around $26, that's going to be my breakout level to the upside. Okay. Um, there's a very big, uh, daily gap up from 26 to $27 right here. That's what this little box is. Okay. And these tend to fill 90 to 95% of the time. All right. So even if today, um, you know, the stock probably will pull back a little bit here in the, in the sometime in the near future. But even today, um, you know, after the big rally, it still offers about 42% returns if you can ride the momentum and you're patient enough to ride the momentum up to the gap fill, right? Now, um, of course, there's some other things to consider, you know, risk management, stop losses and things like that. But, <clears throat> you know, I just wanted to highlight that for you guys and that that's where we're going to be looking to go, okay? Now, we're going to zoom in a little bit more to the daily chart just so it's a little bit clearer for you guys and we can see a little bit more. All right. Um, so here's those COVID lows. All right. Here's the price levels that I was talking about that we, you know, we don't need to, you know, start going below there. We recovered very nicely. All right. And we actually in this process of, of raging yesterday, we created a gap down. OK, so there's a gap in between this candlestick and that candlestick. These um, fill 90 to 95 percent of the time historically in the stock market. It's just a matter of when. Right. It's not a matter of if so much. It's just a matter of when. And you can figure out the when by asking yourself a couple questions. Right. Um, what is the market conditions right now? Are we in a bullish market? OK, well, you know, um, a bullish market and bullish market sentiment and bullish market conditions. Th that's when we're going to fill those gaps up. Right. And that's when we're going to head towards the gaps up. And when we're in a bearish market and there's really, um, you know, down selling pressure, um, you know, that type of environment in the market, a bearish market environment, um, that's when you're going to see the gaps down fill. OK, so, you know, we do have this gap down to fill to be very cautious of below eighteen dollars all the way down to about seventeen point two. Um, so, you know, what I would look for is I would look <clears throat> to see if we're going to be able to keep this momentum going. Right. And if you see it start, if you see things start to pull back, be prepared, um, you know, for it to fill this gap here down all the way down to 17.2. Um, and, you know, perhaps maybe then you can wait, um, you know, for an entry below 17.2 to try to get back in and ride the momentum up to the gap fill to the top. Um, but, you know, it's still pretty risky. OK, airline plays are still pretty risky overall, just you know they any any day now they can just whip up a new um variant they've done it with the omicron and all this stuff so um you always have to be aware of that that's always going to be a huge risk now with the airline plays is um any covid19 variants or any you know variants of the covid um you know you can always have a very negative impact on the airlines and they're kind of easily manipulated this way so um you know that's just one thing to keep in mind but I do like where this one is going. I do like how things have been uh, forming. And, you know, we kind of have a little bit of an inverse head and shoulders that's firing off. Here's a, our head. Here's our left shoulder. And here's our right shoulder, right? And here's our neckline we just broke. Or we could say that this is the neckline up here, um, this level right here. And then, you know, this is the level we need to break. So it's going to be really interesting to see what do we do. Do we go above 19 today on American Airlines? Or do we start the drop back down to this gap down to uh, about 17? So let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you have any stock requests, strategies, tutorials. I do viewer requests every single week. And thank you guys for watching, okay? Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.